I always go for two, the more the better. It's a fair maiden here. So, of course, you're not a pirate in your new film. I'm not. I'm the, I'm the non-pirate. I'm the scientist. You're surrounded by pirates. Yeah, okay. yeah. Are you not a seafarer? Is that the problem? No, I'm, I, I'm Charles Darwin. Okay. The Charles Darwin, although not quite the version of Charles Darwin that the history books would, uh, would have us believe in. What about in real life? Do you take to the sea, David? Not for a long time. No. No. I used to, when I was a kid, we used to go sailing around Millport, the Isle of Cumbria. <laughs> for anyone who knows that, Scottish viewers. Um, uh, but only very occasionally, no. But then, that, that's fine for my character. He's not particularly, he doesn't have particularly sturdy sea legs. And at the moment, lots of people at home have been seeing you dressed as what a bottle of tomato ketchup. Ah, yeah. Lovely look. Well, it is comic relief. You do have to, <laughs> you do have to make the effort. Yeah. Are you be running the mile as well? I guess I'll have to. I can't I really. Think you will. I can't really dress up as a sauce bottle and tell everyone else to do it and not but do it myself. Other people are, you know, rowing the the channel and marathons. Just the mile for you. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can talk. I've before. dressed up as a sauce bottle, yeah. so yeah, I so think I've done my. Yours. You've done your yeah. bit. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, good question. Right, okay. <laughs> Move I'll on. run a mile. OK, we're going to be talking about your Charles Darwin character in a brilliant new film that I've seen. I uh, saw it a couple of weeks ago. It's out for Easter later on. But you're not in it, because you do the voice, yeah. but you're not in it personally. It's got a different title in America than it has in the UK, isn't it? It does, actually, so tell yeah. us both. It's called... Here it's called Pirates, an Adventure with Scientists. Mm -hmm. And in America it's called Pirates, Band of Misfits, I think. Why is that? that? Don't ask me questions like that. Crazy cats. There'll be, there'll be some clever publicist can tell you the reason. I don't know. Now, I've seen the movie. It is brilliant. It uh, is brilliant. And one it? of the reasons it's brilliant, well, Aardman are just brilliant anyway. Yeah. You're pretty good. Uh, well, the thing is, I feel, I feel slightly guilty coming on a show like this and taking any credit for it, because really... But don't worry, we're not going to let you do that. That's uh, good. So, <laughs> but Because this is the genius But the script it. is really, really good, isn't it? So oh, how do the funny. pirates meet the scientists? Uh, uh, the pirate captain, who's here on the table of yeah. us, played by Hugh Grant. Played it? by Hugh Grant. The pirate captain is desperate to win pirate of the year. <laughs> he's a pretty <laughs> rubbish pirate. And these are, this is an award to me, like the yeah, bastards, exactly, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. And he's a pretty rubbish pirate, so he has to get his booty collection up. He has to... Because it's he, all about the booty. He has to increase his hit rate. Mm -hmm. So he, he goes plundering whatever ships he can find. Uh, it, it all goes wrong. Every ship that, that he, that he uh, comes across has no treasure on it whatsoever. And finally, he comes across uh, Charles Darwin's boat uh, okay. uh, on its way um, back from the Galapagos Islands, uh, only to discover there's no booty on that either, but there are some baboon's kidneys and uh, some stuffed animals. Let's cut to that very moment very in the good. movie. <laughs> ah, here we are. <laughs> home sweet home. You don't get many women back here, do you, Charles? Sweet Neptune on a bike! Oh, don't mind, Mr. Bobo. Just an old project of mine. Project? Yeah, I had this theory. I thought that if you took a monkey, gave him a monocle and covered up his gigantic unsightly ass, then he would cease to be a monkey and become more of a... a man pansy, if you will. Yeah. Four. So that was the bit... See, it's such a brilliant movie. That was the bit in the movie where they made the, the ship look like a house in London. <laughs> yeah, it's a slightly different <laughs> yeah. bit to the bit we, you thought was coming yeah, on there, but it's, but it's an equally good and exciting I apologise profusely. That's all right. And lots of the other different actors, uh, did you get to meet them, or presumably because it's an animation, you do it all separately? They do a bit of that. They, they, they would try and get us together when possible. Mm -hmm. um, so but you don't like that. You said that in the past, you'd rather be on your own doing... <laughs> I'd like, I like to be on my own. I, I don't like eye contact with any other human being. <laughs> Um, no, it's quite. It's nice if you get to do a bit of bouncing off each other, mm -hmm. obviously. But uh, that also is dependent on people's sh schedules, of course. But, but no, Hugh Grant and I had a session together. Martin Freeman and I had a session together. Uh, Imelda Staunton, I think we had one day. But there's loads of brilliant people in it. Okay. Um, um, do you, would you describe yourself as overacting when you're in the clip room? I don't know what you're suggesting, Louis. Well, should we have a look? No, 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 no,
I was told by Peter Lord, our glorious director, to not shy away from that because the animators like as much animation in the vocal performance as possible. Okay. Okay. We've got an example of that. I've now remembered what we're doing. Yes, yeah, And viewers at home, try and guess what's happening when he's doing this. Yeah, in the movie, what's happening when David's doing this in the voiceover <laughs> studio? Okay. See, I think that's brilliant. Because <laughs> I saw that and I said, that's the bit where Charles Darwin's made to walk the plank. Is that right? Oh, I, don't, I couldn't tell you, actually. <laughs> yeah, There's quite good. a lot of falling over and being f flung okay. through things. I think you're being prodded to the end of the plank Possibly. there by the pirate captain. Possibly, yeah. Although there is, there's a lot of balancing on things and falling out of things. It's a, it's a very it's fun... It's a very good film. It is a... It, I feel I can say that because I'm only a voice in it. I, it, doesn't feel, it doesn't feel particularly uh, uh, boastful of me to say it. It is a really good film. Well, let's talk to somebody who yeah, maybe is, can boast about the man who, who, can bo who, who needs to boast about it. This Hello, is Jay, Jay. Grace. Yeah, Jay Hi. Grace, one of the chief animators at Ardman Studios. Is that right? Uh, that's right, yeah. OK, tell us about your job. Uh, well, my job in the film was as animation director, um, and so I would work with the animators to... Uh, um, get the best performance based on what David and Hugh and the other actors had done beforehand um, in the recording studio. And we actually would take those voices and um, set up a video camera and actually act it out for uh, ourselves. Okay, everybody that works for yeah. Arben's got an Oscar. Obviously, you have. Unfortunately, not. No, 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 no. They brought us the only one who hadn't won an Oscar. <laughs> Every, everybody else does, yes. <laughs> How many Oscars has Nick Park won? Um, Nick Park has won four Oscars. I think Arben has been nominated for nine Oscars in total. Right. And where does and he keep them? Uh, just around the house. Are they made out yeah. of plasticine? Does he make, does he, <laughs> he make, can he make them move? Uh, I don't think he's ever animated his, his Oscars, no. And no, what happens no. when he goes over to the Oscars? Do you all wait and, and have a big party afterwards? Uh, yeah, it's any excuse for a party at Oldman, yeah. Um, and so uh, when, when he's off there, obviously we can't all go along. Um, but back in Bristol, we generally celebrate. We think these are quite small, but you yeah. say these are big for animated puppets. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, these are really big for us. I mean, generally speaking, um, Wallace would be probably up to Pirate Captain's shoulder. <gasps> Wallace uh, is only that big? Yeah, he's, a, he, he's, he's a very small man in real life, yeah. And is, is um, Wallace and Grimm like Stone Age in animation terms compared to these two guys? Well, I, I, Stone Age is probably a little cruel. Um, I, I think, I'm a uh, very cruel yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, um, the The original um, Wallace designs that were done by Nick, um, he made them himself, I think and uh, the design has pretty much kept, kept faithful to that throughout. Um, but for this film, we had to kind of move the technology on a little bit. Um, so you can see here we've got... Um, this is the what we call an armature that goes inside the pirate captain. So basically, this here is, is set inside him, and the majority of this puppet is, um, is not even plasticine. Um, the, the outfit he's wearing is made out of foam rubber, his boots are silicon, his, his beard is silicon, and, and in fact the, the only bit of plasticine on him is his brow now. You look um, amazed. Yeah. I think they're glorious. <laughs> no, I just think they're... I, I want to see this animated... I mean, look at that! That's like... That's quite... This is quite, this is quite a piece of engineering, engineering that is. Isn't it? That's me, that's Darwin, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but Jay, uh, yeah. very, very quickly, uh, you know, as far, as far as all this is concerned, as far as the animation is concerned, it took you three years. Um, well, the, the actual shoot itself was 18 months, but the development period before that was... Three was years, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good work. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much, Dave. And uh, Pirates and Adventure with Scientists is out on Wednesday, the 28th of March.